tragic trend. High school graduates being gunned down across Metro Atlanta. Five teenagers have been shot in just the past three days. And four of those young men lost their lives. The deadly wave of violence started Monday evening in South DeKalb County. A star athlete and recent high school graduate was murdered in the parking lot of an apartment complex. Now, Trevon Richardson had just accepted a scholarship to play football at Valdosta State University. Now, Fox Eyes Jacqueline Schultz is alive in DeKalb County tonight where friends and family members are struggling with this unimaginable loss, Jacqueline. Yeah, hundreds of people literally packed the streets for this high school graduate of Cedar Grove. You can see what they left behind. Candles spelling out long live Trey and also his number for the team, number 11. Tonight, many want the young man's killer taken off the streets and say whoever did this took the life of a young man with big dreams after graduation. Right now, hearts are just so full right now, just so heavy right now. From family, classmates, and teammates, hundreds pay tribute to 18-year-old Trayvon Richardson, the South DeKalb football star and role model to his teammates and classmates, brutally murdered days after he graduated from Cedar Grove High School. Tonight was supposed to be a graduation celebration for all of them planning their own graduation at a different location, but instead they showed the love for my son. Father Freddie Richardson says he worked to train and instill discipline in his youngest son, Trayvon, who was headed to Valdosta State on a football scholarship. His mother is a registrar at the high school where the star athlete also won state with his track team and played basketball. Tuesday night, Richardson says he allowed his son to hang out with friends when police say around 9 Monday night at the Life at Pepper Tree Circle Apartments off Columbia and Flat Shoals Parkway. He was shot and left for dead, and a number of people fled the scene. Police could not say a motive, but family members tell us the money given him as a graduation present was missing. Very hard. I'm trying my best to get through it. And I just don't have any other words. You know, it's, it's all emotions right now trying to get through the grief. I want justice. I mean, it, it was sick. It was sick. It was crazy, man. Like, the kid was paying him to go to college. And I got to prepare a funeral. I just feel for his family. It, just, it hurt me so bad, but it hurt his teammates. Head football coach Jimmy Smith tells us how he treated Trayvon like a son and how his wide receiver's enthusiasm and college goals inspired his teammates. To the Grove, we're close near family like a family. You know, and, and one, of our, one of our guys, this happens to one of our guys, man. I got, know our guys have come out.